Hey guys, today we're doing a spiral vase, which was requested by a user on Instagram. So here we go. Uh, first of all, we got to start off with making a spiral, and I have a video on that on how to make a quick spiral. I'll put that in the description. But for starters, we're gonna go ahead and make our shape because this is the base of the design that we're working with. After that, we need to make a line all the way across the spiral and uh, offset that by however much we want. In this case, I'm going with 20 millimeters. And then we just follow through that line down there and then simply extrude those pieces. Just go ahead and select all of them. And again, since I chose 20 in the first place, I'm gonna go ahead and follow through with 20. And uh, now we have to revolve this around the center pivot point. And for this, I'm gonna choose 1500, and I'm also gonna revolve it 1500 times. And I'm gonna make that a negative revolve, just because this is the look I'm going for. Uh, now we basically uh, go back and hide the stuff we don't need, and we subtract. So we go ahead and subtract this body from this body, this body. And then we're done, we hide what's unnecessary, things that we won't be using right now, especially the revolve. And now we delete the extra. So we want the foundation, the base to be flat so that we can finish that up and I'll show you why later. So we delete the extra stuff that we don't need. And usually we just do that by double clicking whatever we want to select. And then uh, we click delete. And there's a few extra pieces here left over. This is not a super refined process at this point, but this is what works. So we go ahead and delete the extras because remember, we're going to make it flat. So we delete those inner pieces that we don't need. Uh, after that, we go ahead and hide the sketch so it's not in our way because we got to work on the bottom. And we use the replace face tool. So we select the face we want to replace and we choose the one we want. So now it's flat. All that's left, we've got to make it transparent so that it looks good. So let's go ahead and change that color. And uh, there's also a couple options. Like for example, if you use the scale tool, it makes a really cool effect. Uh, you can make it different uh, in size, height, etc. So watch this. Go ahead and select it, go up, and you got a brand new piece. So you can make like a set of these. They're just gonna look really good. Uh, so not everything works, but you can play with it and see what works for you. So as you can see, we have our finished result, a spiral vase. And I think it looks really good. Let's just go ahead and uh, fillet those edges so that no one cuts themselves on the sharp corners there. Uh, I'll go 20 and actually I'll go ahead and make that 40 to make it look a little better. There we go. So now we have our finished piece and I think it looks great. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, go ahead and subscribe, share this video, like this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.